So I have all this bottom section done last week. And the week before we did, sorry about the sun, the bottom bottom with the um, sugar, sugar cane, all the different things over there, and the pond area. Now it's Tuesday again. And we're going to go up to the tree lines. This is where I'm starting in this bed here. Okay, the tree marigold here. I'm going to head and let it bloom this year. I am not good at a chop and drop, which is what I bought this for, but I really like the flowers. So once it's flowered and done for the season, I'm going to be moving that to another location. I cleaned up around here and around the apricot. And I'm getting ready to go in this bed, which has the Japanese ginger, which is finally giving me its flowers so I'm going to take its flowers and I'm going to move this because the plants are surviving oh I'm getting tired already but not thriving they're not multiplying like they should so I'm going to probably find a new location for this one this one is doing good my green pepper basil but I'm going to also relocate it because I want to change this bed but I'm really trying to focus on weeding and getting that done for now. But let's get this done. And I've moved the Japanese ginger. And these are the blooms that I got from them. Hopefully they will like this spot much better. They'll get much more morning sun and less evening sun. And I got the green pepper basil moved. Okay, there's really no need now to weed this out because... I'm changing this whole bed in this one where it's going to come down like a tear down here. So we will leave that for the day when I move everything around. I am going to move on to the second ginger patch. Next bit first, I'm starting to shake a little bit so I'm going to take a breakfast break. Well, darn, it looks like my fever few has died. I think these plants have shaded it out. This bed here had my um, French thyme in it, which has pretty much all died out except for just a few scragglers, scragglers right there. So, I'm not uh, weeding this bed. I'm going to take it down and change it a little bit in this area. So, jump, skip, skip this one. This is another yam bed. I'm going to go ahead and weed this one. Or, you know, put out the trees that are trying to grow. And I am going to be done for Tuesday. My ducks have been hanging out with me this morning. I appreciate all your hard work. I'm going to go in and cool off. You guys have a good day. See you later. Here it is, Wednesday morning, and I'm going to get busy on this tree line and work my way up. This uh, purple heart back here is not getting enough sun, so I'm going to dig that up and move it. And while I'm in this bed, I'm going to propagate more of this um, Okinawa spinach just by cutting it and stick it in the ground. And then I will have to give it some watering. But other than that, 
This bed is almost done. Okay, I'm moving on to this bed. I got some um, trees to pull up, a few unwanted weeds in here. I want to collect some seeds of the lily of the Nile here and show off my hurricane lilies. This is the first year that they've bloomed, and there's a couple more getting ready to come up. They're pretty. So that was the bed I was just in, and I'm moving up to here, and all of this I need to move out because it's not getting enough sun now, since the trees have grown over it. So I'm going to skip this for now, and go on down the fence line here. There's not a lot, just a few weeds, grass growing here in the turmeric and around in the rose bush. Let's see if I can get the... There's still one little bit of flower there. And uh, so there'll be no after picture of this one. I'll just get this done real quick. Okay, now I'm at the top of the tree line and I just want to get this weeded today. I need to uh, dig up these irises. They don't do well here. And this is the same one. It goes all the way around. That I want to change the shape down here. I'm not doing that today. I just want to get it weeded. And that's my main priority right now. That is going to be my new place to dump uh, cardboard to kill off that. That's my old area, so I need to get some dirt on that now and put some plants on it. And this is a new cardboard area. So I got the irises dug up over from this side of the back and that side in the front. And then I was coming over here to do the irises over here. I didn't think they were doing well, but look what I see. One had bloomed over here, too. And I've got seeds everywhere, so I'm going to change my plan and just dig those over there, little ones, and bring them over here. Because I seem to like this area, at least. Good morning. It's Thursday. I'm going to be digging up all these and moving them to a sunnier position. So I got the butterfly milkweed moved, the um, balloon milkweed moved, and you can see the canna lilies are starting to uh, come up that we moved just, what, a week ago? Two weeks ago? I can't remember. I think it was last week. So it's supposed to start raining a little after nine, and now I just need to get some weed wrecking done in the next section. But I will do a quick walkthrough of what we've gotten done the last one, two, and this week, three weeks. You might hear a siren from the highway on the interstate, actually. But this is the best view of the garden walking along the ditch on the outside of the fence. You can see the sugar cane back there in the pond all the way, right in front of us. And we're just going to walk through here. Hopefully it won't be too shaky or bumpy. So you can see the whole garden that has taken me oh, three weeks to do this section. My pretty flowers. And that's the top.
Thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it.